What is going on everybody? It is Paul. If you guys thought that I was done with freshwater fish, this box is full of freshwater cichlids. We are headed to the fish room. Let's do it. Let's unbox this stuff. Oh man, in the fish room. When was the last time I was in here doing something? But I got this box here. I've wanted this fish for a long time. I've had my eye on it for probably at least two years. So uh, without further ado, let's check it out. So we've got to take care of a few things real quick. So this Malawi hawk female has been in this tank uh, recovering. She flew out of that tank. Uh, so she's been in here recovering. What I want to do is I want to add the new fish into this tank. Um, so I got to move this guy up here after I move her over there. All right, let's try to catch this fish. Got the net. Always can be a little bit difficult. You never know sometimes, see? Just gotta kinda let them freak out a little bit. And then you kinda get the upper hand on them. Just gotta go slow. There we go, see? That wasn't so bad. Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh man. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, I got splashed in me, in me eye. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. Look at the shiny under my eye. Yeah, that's from the fish. <laughs> this is just a temporary holding spot for these fish right now. That's disgusting. Mm. You are new to the channel. I have two water change systems here in my fish room, right? So I got the automatic water change system with the timer and the zones that go out throughout the fish room. And then the first system I built was these overflow drains on the tank and the fill lines. Now what I wanna do is drain this water. So I need to just open this up and then I come on over here. Gotta move this and then flip this switch and it turns on that pump. And we'll watch here right now, watch this. You can see it's just pulling that water out, helping get any junk out of here. See that, look at that. Flying on out of here. And then right about there, I stop, turn it off. Hear that? That's because it's hitting the edge there. Shut this. The whole system stays primed. When I'm doing a big water change like this, then all I gotta do is come back over here, flip that. That is heated water coming uh, into the fish room from my heater in the shop. So we let this fill up. So as you can see, when I put the sponges back into the aquarium, because not all of the grime and poop and all that from inside the sponges gets out and it gets back in the water, but having that water change system that I built originally to fill it up, drain it, fill it up and drain it like that is just absolutely amazing. Um, definitely like having two water change systems in this fish room. Gonna be absolutely awesome to add more fish. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this settle for a bit so all these bubbles get worked out. 
uh, all these micro bubbles that are in here and you know it'll just kind of filter a little bit better so once this is done we're gonna unbox this thing all right the moment we've all been waiting for what did i get so we're gonna start off with this little guy oh 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 my gosh i'm so excited So we're gonna let these guys have a little time to settle on in, but check out what we got. These are super red Texas cichlids, SRTs. Uh, they are a couple of inches long, about three or so, and they are looking fantastic for this stage. You can see that there's one in there that is in the process of fading still. I think they're probably all still fading, but especially this one. This is going to be so incredibly epic. So let's let the let's let the water calm down. Let's let them settle in and we'll come and take better footage of them in a bit. Super red Texas. Here is the first one. Again, these are juvenile. So they got some time to go. Then there's this guy. Got that one in the back. Let's see what happens here. And you got that one. So we got four total. This guy, that one, this one, and that one. All right, we got food in here. Let's see what happens. Um, I can see a few pieces like right here. These ones are trying to fall down. So hopefully they will make their way down and we can get some good action of these fish. Here's this guy fading. Here we go. Here's one right here. Boom, look at that. Beast, here's another one. Boom. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we got, that guy just hides a lot. This guy's got insane potential and so does this one. And obviously they're still fading, so we got time. Here's another piece, right? Where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh, I floated back up. Right. Go for it. This one's kind of interesting. It's almost like it's platinum. Interesting. Look at this little little fight action or something. Let's get ready to rumble. Here comes number three. I'm so excited to have those super red Texas. I think they're going to be absolutely epic. Obviously they're gonna to have to grow and as they grow, they'll continue to fade and just turn incredible. Um, so yeah, still doing the fresh water. Like I said, I've had my eye on this fish for quite some time and I finally decided to pull the trigger. There was a vendor in the US who had some of these and I had to do it uh, because these are epic fish. Um, and I just cannot wait for them to grow and get and get size and fully fade out and all that stuff But uh, like I mentioned before this is their temporary home for now. They're not going to be in this tank forever uh, It's just something uh, to get them used to everything around here. You know the water I'm I was watching the fish down here the water and all that kind of stuff like that But I'm gonna move them to a bigger aquarium 
uh, and then we'll go from there. So I got some things in this fish room that I am planning on changing up. Um, I was doing this for breeding for the most part and I'm gonna keep a group or two, but I wanna change up the fish room. So if you look here, we got one, two, three, 340 gallons. We got one, two, three, three more 40 gallons. 75, 75, and then we got two 125s and two 125s. So got a lot of space in here and I want to turn this more into a fish room that's got multiple types of fish, different fish, you know, not just cichlids, you know. I kind of want to just experiment. Like I said, I got tons of room. Um, actually, these two top tanks, the two 125s, those are probably going to stay as is, but um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. But anyway, super excited to have these guys down here, these super red Texas. They're gonna be epic once they grow. So if you guys like this type of video, this type of content, please consider hitting that subscribe button because the analytics are saying that most of the viewers aren't subscribed. It's free. Be awesome if you guys could hit that sub button. Your guys' subscriptions make this all worth it. So leave a comment down below what you guys think of the new fish. I hope to see you guys soon and I'll talk to you on the next one. Stay tanked.